Hey, this is Mike, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you real quick how to um, log into your WordPress site and start editing your pages. So here I am at the WordPress site that I created for Peninsula Progressive Network, and you'll log in with your username and password that you should have gotten through your email. And once you logged in, you'll see your dashboard. So on your dashboard, you'll notice on the left-hand side is all the things that you can do. And you can toggle back and forth between the dashboard and the website. Up on the top here, you'll see this black bar up at the top, and you'll see where it says Peninsula Progressive Network. And you can go ahead and just click on that, and that'll toggle you between the website and the dashboard. So let's go ahead and create a post. So to create a post, I'll go to Posts, and I'll say Add New. And I can enter the title here. Event for May 7th, for example. And now down below, we'll see there's a text editor and a visual editor. You'll see the two tabs, text and visual. It's probably easier for you to use the visual editor for most things, so I'll click on visual. And now I'll see the visual editor right here. And I can type in whatever I like. And I can use bullets if I like. I can add images, whatever I want to do. Um, then when I'm all set, all I need to do is hit publish. And then that post has been created and I can view the post. And there it is. So it's as easy as that. If I need to edit a page, I can do that too. So if I were to go into the network members area, and let's say I wanted to add information about my particular group. I could do that. So all I do is hit edit page up at the top here. And it brings me into the editor and then all I need to do is you probably want it to look the same as the other ones. So I can just copy, for example, some of this text here. And let's say that I would, wanted to put this into the um, democracy first area. I'll just hit enter and then I'll paste all that information in here. And that's it. I can go ahead and edit that information. I'll get rid of this and then if democracy first wants to add there, information, they can do that. And then I'll hit update. And then when I go to view the site, the page, I'll see here's all that information. Um, oh, but you see I messed up. So it's not a problem. I'll just go in and edit it and fix it later. The most important thing is to get your information in there. And to get it to indent like that, all I did was hit tab. And then all that stuff will indent. And that fixed it. I'll hit update. And then when I view the page, it's all there and ready to go. Just like the Progressive Williamsburg one, just like the Williamsburg Huddles one, and the Williamsburg Indivisible one. Um, all right, so that should be all set. 